as you enter my house, uh, um, my wife and I wanted to have a, some kind of artwork that was personal to the house and also related to uh, the work that, that we do. Um, and so, the, so you see two things. One of them is the dragon curve. I'm going to explain to you more about in a minute. And another one is this work here, which is a Gruk by Pete Hine. Road to wisdom, well, it's plain and simple to express. Er and er and er again, but less and less and less. It's one of my favorite, it's sort of the story of my life is, 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 is uh, making mistakes and trying to uh, 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 learn from that. They designed it it's in the shape of a super ellipse, which is Pete Hines' uh, great, great discovery of, a, 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 of a, an ellipse that, that is, is more full and has been used in, in many architectural products. So what's the idea of the dragon curve? This is something invented by a couple of physicists in the uh, late 60s. And you start with a piece of paper and you fold it, fold it again, and you fold it again. And uh, you do this n times, where n is 9 in the case of the dragon curve being, uh, to our left, but here n is 4 or something. But w w when you look at it, you see that some of the folds go uh, mountain folds and some are valley folds. If you imagine walking here, you're turning left here, you're turning left here, but then you're turning right. And, it, it, and you know, another right turn and a left turn and so on. So, so there's a pattern of lefts and rights. The amazing thing is that if you continue this like nine times and then you open all these folds up to 90 degrees, then you get a path, starts to fill the space and makes a quite a nice fractal pattern. Uh, so start here with at, at this tile, for example. If you, if you zoom in on it, you can see that my wife and I had signed our names here, but we can talk about that story later, but it starts out and it makes a left turn and a left turn and a right turn and a left turn and a left turn and so on. So this is exactly the, the, the pattern that you get from folding. Since I fold nine times, uh, there's 512 steps to this, well, 511 probably, uh, to this pattern. So it ends, it ends over here and it keeps going, but in the middle it gets very intricate. Um, and. Uh, the great thing is, though, from a standpoint of geek art, is that you only need three kinds of tiles. A tile that's completely blank, or a tile that has one loop in it, like this one, or a tile that has two loops in it, like this one. And, of course, I could take the tile with two loops and I could tip it this way, then it wouldn't be joining from here to here, but it would, be, it would make this into an isolated circle. Uh, yeah, I had to count how many blacks, how many blanks I needed, how many single loops, and so on. And, uh, and so we made a mock-up in in brown paper and cardboard, and had it in the apartment where we were living while our house was being designed. And we said, "Hey, this is a cool design, kind of nice to have this in our house when when the house was finally built." So then we uh, we both loved uh, the tiles that are made by Heath Ceramics in Sausalito, California. And we had the mock-up of the design, so we went up to see the Heath Ceramics and talked to the people there. And we asked, wondered if they could make custom tiles for us. A uh, certain number of blanks, certain number of single. And uh, the answer was, uh, well, we could do it, except that we, all, we only make tiles that are three and a half inches square. Uh, and my, my design called for two inches square. If this, if the mathematics could not be changed, even if I went down to eight instead of nine, uh, it wouldn't have been as it wouldn't have been as interesting a pattern. But also, uh, it would be huge and wouldn't look right at scale. This 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 kind of pattern is very appealing at this size, but not at a bigger size. So uh, we were down. We we looked very disheartened, evidently, because the. The person we were talking to saw that we were very disappointed that we had, you know, driven up here and had this nice idea. But they said, "But wait, uh, we one week in June we're going on vacation. We close our factory, and you. But but we have somebody here as a security person. You could come in and use our equipment. Uh, we, we we let you use our clay." and extrude tiles, and if you cut them to the 
size, two, two inches by two inches, uh, then uh, uh, we'll also let you put on our, our glazes and we'll fire the tiles for you afterwards. And so that's, that's what we did. We, we went up there and spent a day uh, making all these tiles and a few spares and put our initials in th this one, or the starting point, and they fired it. And, they, and there are sp some of the accidents in the firing you can see. Sometimes it cracked a little bit during the, during the firing. So we had, uh, we had nine of these actually. Uh, so I could, so, so I put those in so that after, like after, after eight steps it's here. And then after 16 you're here. 32 I'm here. So years went by and, uh, and uh, I finally uh, put a chapter in my book on fun and games that talks about this. And, and I reread all the papers I had written about uh, uh, the Dragon Curve and uh, come to a shocking discovery. And that is that this is wrong. You get this by making nine folds, but the ninth fold I made in the wrong direction. Instead of going this way, I went that way. And so actually, this is uh, the last half of this it has a different bend. And there's something uh, mathematically, I had been living with this for 30 years and didn't realize that I had a mathematical error in the design. How do you feel about that now? Well, uh, I feel the moral is er and er, er again, but less and less and less. Number file is made possible by support from the Mathematical Sciences Research Institute. We'll have more from Don Knuth coming soon, so stay tuned to Number File and our sister channel, Computer File, where those videos will be appearing. And if you'd like to watch even more about the Dragon Curve, we've done some previous videos on that which go into more detail. Links are on the screen and in the video description.